Hello, I'm so sorry to keep um, drumming on about uh, the Dublin Convention, the Dublin Regulation. I did a piece uh, at the end of last week and somebody very kindly pointed out that actually I was wrong. I don't think I was wrong. I've looked again at what I said. Um, I don't think I was wrong, but I'm happy to clarify. So um, today, we're, uh, the, um, the, the, the flight for, for Rwanda apparently uh, the, the number of um, migrants who are due to be on that flight has now got down to single figures. Um, and that's because the government is removing people from that flight. Though, um, I allegedly, 130 people have received letters saying they're going to be deported. Uh, I hope in the end, if the fight takes off, it takes off with no one on board, which will be something of a Pyrrhic victory for Priti Patel. Um, so, the simple legislation uh, for the Dublin uh, regulation, for the Dublin Convention, began in 1990. There was then a Dublin 2 and a Dublin 3 in 2003 and then 2013. And um, it was all confirmed in 2017, despite the sudden influ influx of migrants into the EU. Um, and the UK, of course, the reason why we are not in the Dublin Convention is because we withdrew at Brexit on uh, uh, December the 31st in 2020. Now, in fact, in, in 2018, there was a white paper produced by Mrs May and Sajid Javid, which set out British plans to effectively participate in Dublin 3 and also um, to maintain a common travel area and therefore keep... Uh, our relationship smooth with Dublin, something which is now having to be uh, reviewed and um, uh, looked at today. So it's very relevant. Um, but uh, the 2018 plans disappeared under the 2020 framework when we left Brexit um, under Boris's plans. Good intentions squandered. But the language of legal and illegal migration continued and that language was something which was only pertinent to the Dublin framework. Um, and Priti Patel's department has developed the concept of an illegal migrant, something for which I frankly can find no serious definition, though I can find a definition for illegal routes. Um, that, that makes sense. But illegal migration, illegal migrants, makes no sense at all. Um, and, uh, and, and I, can't, I can't actually find the point at which that begins. All I can see is, has been a, a sleight of hand where the language of the Dublin uh, Convention has persisted, although we have left that convention. So the aim of the Dublin Convention was that um, it, it, it was to stop people submitting multiple asylum claims in different European countries. Um, but in principle, it meant... Um, that one submitted a, uh, an, an asylum claim in the first safe country within the European community. And that, and that included uh, Norway and Iceland in 2006, and Finland, Austria, and Sweden, I think the last uh, countries before that to join up in 1998. Now, it's not without problems. The, U, uh, the UNHCR um, criticised the whole concept in... Um, Oh, well, well, continually, actually. In 2011, there was a case taken against Greece and Belgium. Uh, and it, the, the, the problems are it doesn't provide proper protection. It's um, often dividing families, though many of, the, um, many of the returns to the UK, for example, were not returns. Those were uh, people sent from Greece or from other countries to the UK because... Um, these uh, the, 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 the asylum seekers had family in the UK. Um, so, but, but for the most part, the Dublin Protocol, the Dublin legislation, um, was accused of dividing families rather than restoring families and for imposing uh, such a heavy burden on border countries like Greece and Italy, uh, among the poorest in the U e e EU and ill-equipped, completely ill-equipped to deal with um, certainly the, the later waves of immigration. But I was in Greece in 2001 and I saw um, complete chaos. Greece was struggling even then. So I cannot imagine that it got any better. Um, 
There were other rebellions against the convention. Hungary, uh, I, I, I suppose, you know, the, Hungary was the one that really uh, queered the pitch. In 2015, it refused to receive back refugees um, who had crossed from, uh, the, uh, from, 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 from Russia and Belarus into Hungary. Uh, and this effectively sparked the refugee crisis, leading to Angela Merkel's uh, plan for Germany and then later the Czech Republic to take in migrants from Syria. So, uh, you know, to, um, as I say, I'm only, I'm only really doing this to clarify something. Uh, somebody says I got it completely wrong. I don't believe I have. But if somebody else um, knows slightly more about the uh, Dublin Convention, the Dublin Regulation, and um, can point out where I am at fault, please do so. But I, uh, I, I and equally, I'd be very interested to know if somebody actually has better information than I have about what an illegal or legal migrant may be in law. So if you go into the inter in internet and try and find out what is a le an illegal or illegal migrant, what we get is effectively Pretty Patel's definition. That is not a legal definition. That is a de facto um, judgment by the Home Office. And I, I think it's without foundation. Uh, I think um, all we have done is to adopt the language of uh, the Dublin Convention and to have um, and, and to have assumed that that means that anybody who arrives in our country without our permission is an illegal migrant or anybody who who crosses um, uh, the channel or uses what would be deemed an illegal route that I think is law is therefore an illegal migrant but you can use an illegal route and not be an illegal migrant uh, so to do something illegally requires some sort of knowledge of um, some sort of knowledge that you are transgressing, and um, and it requires a serious transgression. I don't think those things exist.